Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited about today's video because it is actually sponsored by Undone Beauty. I have been talking about Undone Beauty on my channel for about two years now, and I discovered Undone Beauty when they were mainly being sold on Amazon, but now the small brand has moved into Target and now Ulta. When I woke up last weekend and I saw that Undone Beauty had made its way into Ulta, I was so excited. I remember working at Ulta and just thinking, dang, like, this store really needs some undone beauty the products are so nice they are affordable the undone cream blushes are one of my favorites and whenever people would come in to ulta asking about cream blush i always wish i could sell them the undone beauty cream blushes so a big congratulations to undone beauty for getting into ulta that is an amazing accomplishment and it is so nice seeing more affordable vegan cruelty free options become more available for today's look though i am going to be creating a really nice natural natural dewy look but it's going to be better for oily skin because I have the Undone Beauty on foundation matte tint. So if you are oily but you still want to achieve that really natural nice dewy look and be able to skip powder definitely keep on watching. So I'm going to go in with my Undone Beauty matte on foundation matte tint. This is a light coverage complexion product. You definitely are not going to be able to cover up those big blemishes but it does an amazing job evening out the skin tone, which sometimes is all I like to go for, especially when you pair it with a nice creamy concealer where you can target those areas where you do want to cover up more. The shade that I'm using in the matte tint is Sand Medium. I find this shade to be pretty flexible and it has been a good match for me even while I'm transitioning into warmer months. If you are kind of unsure if you're picking up the right shade, chances are if you get it kind of like in the same shade family, you will be able to make the shade work for you. I do think I want to get praline medium for when we are deep in those summer months, but for right now sand medium is a pretty good match and I know that this shade would match me all throughout winter as well because the shade range is pretty flexible because it's more of a sheer formula. I'm just going to be adding a little bit more of the skin tint in the center of my face. This really did just even out my base and give me a nice kind of clean, natural looking slate to work with. So I know exactly where to put my concealer and I don't have to over cover any areas. I do also prefer to use a brush with the matte tint. The matte tint has a really nice smoothing texture. It's almost a little bit moussey, which I think is why it works so well with oily skin. And I do kind of feel it has a little bit of like a blurring property to it. So we just really like the matte tint. It does pretty well for our skin. So next I'm going to go in with the Undone Beauty Conceal to Reveal Palette. I am going to be using the shade Almond Latte Medium, but I am going to go ahead and swatch the shade Latte Medium for you guys, just in case you are wondering which ones you should pick. So this one is Almond Latte Medium, and that is the shade that I'm going to go in with now. And then that one is the Regular Latte Medium. The Regular Latte Medium is a little bit more fair, and I feel it does have a little bit more of a pink cool tone. Tone, whereas the almond latte medium leans a little bit more golden yellow. I feel like this shade suits me a bit more at least right now but I can get away with using the regular latte medium throughout the year, but maybe in like in the summertime it gets a little bit too light. But yeah, I'm excited that I discovered the almond latte medium shade. In the packaging, in my opinion, it always just looked really dark and I was kind of intimidated by it, but I discovered that it's actually a really, really great shade match for me. So that is what I'm going to be going in with today. How I like to apply this concealer is I do like to apply it with my finger sometimes I do go in with like a little brush and apply it, my concealer brush from It Cosmetics that you guys are pretty familiar with, but I am just going to be applying it to my under eyes. I'm kind of avoiding the little inner section right here where I get most of my creasing. I am going to cover up like my little red glasses spot on my nose. Um, but the reason why I don't take my concealer all the way in in this area is just to avoid creasing really. I find that when I put my concealer, especially cream concealers, with a focus on like the upper cheekbone and outer corner, it still gives me a nice bright lifted look but I don't get all of the creasing on the inner corner and that's really helpful especially with me skipping out on powder. But I'm just getting my chin, I got my nose area, especially like 
where I get some redness here and then I got the area around my eyes and I am going to blend out this concealer with a sponge. This is one of my favorite creamy concealers. I really like it when it's worn on its own as well. I think it definitely does a great job at covering up, giving me just enough coverage. I could also easily wear it all over my face and it looks great that way as well. The packaging is huge so you get a ton of product. It's a great, great concealer and I think it gives really nice coverage. See my little area that I had going over here? You can still see it peeking through a little bit but this is a natural look so you're not gonna have like flawless perfect skin but I think it's just enough. So yeah I'm taking the Physicians Formula Sculpting Bronzer. I use the shade Mocha doing a little bit down my nose. I am going to go ahead and take this brush from Undone Beauty to blend out my bronzer. Just kind of has this nice like cupping shape so it gets your cheekbone really well. Down my nose. This brush is nice for this area. Just kind of getting it right there. That's really nice. Okay, yeah. And then sometimes I get a little bit heavy handed on the forehead. So I'm just going to go over it with my sponge. I don't have any extra product, but just to kind of clean it up, go underneath my cheekbones, always do that, but yeah. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette. I have mine in the shade Rosewood. Rosewood is my favorite, favorite shade from the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette collection. Sometimes it is really hard for me to find a cream cheek product that actually does look good on my lips and my cheeks. Usually the problem that I have is the cheek product being a little bit too pale where it will look fine and cute on my cheeks but it will just be way too pale and like milky looking on the lips. But no, the Undone Beauty Rosewood shade from the Lip to Cheek Palette looks so good on my complexion on both my cheeks and my lips. I am taking my e.l.f. Putty Blush Brush to apply it and I'm just tapping it onto my cheeks. This blush is so creamy and pigmented. A little bit goes a really, really long way. It also is great applied with your fingers and a sponge. So whatever your preference is on a cream blush application, you can definitely do it however you want with this formula, but I do prefer a brush. I just find I get like the most even coverage from it and it doesn't ever disrupt anything that's going on underneath of my blush and I just feel like I can build it up really easily with the brush. Mmm, I love that shade. Put a little bit on my lips. So usually I would pass on highlighter, especially because of how nice and like naturally dewy my skin looks right now from the cream blush and probably also from the Undone Beauty uh, Conceal to Reveal palette. But Undone Beauty does have a newer product called their Water Bronzer and it is really nice and pretty. I am going to add a little bit of it to the high points of my cheeks and then my brow bone a bit. And I do like to warm it up on my hand before I apply it straight to my cheek. But because this is a very similar consistency to their Water Bronzer, it just really glides onto the skin so effortlessly that it doesn't do any, any tugging underneath of it. And then I always like to take my brush and make sure that I like get everything and make sure it's all seamless. I love my skin like this. This is my favorite type of makeup to wear. Sometimes I do like to actually like do the act of a full coverage base, but... I feel like I look the best when my skin is very natural looking. So now I'm going to move on to my brows. I have the Undone Beauty Flaw Lush Brow Duo. I am so, so happy that Undone Beauty had finally released a brow product. We had been waiting for that for a while and they did not disappoint. I first go in with the marker tip, so like the little pen tip. And I'm also using the shade Dark Brown. I think I like confirmed that this was dark brown. I know that we had a little bit of confusion in my recent Undone Beauty video where we weren't sure what shade this was. That brow came out perfectly. I do like to make sure that I brush out the product though. So I use a spoolie to brush out, you know, the product and blend it out kind of before it fully dries down. I do like to do that with all of my brow pens. And that one's just no different. 
Wow, uh, two winners. Now I'm going to go in with the spoolie side to set my brows. All right, I just want to go in to that little spot. Yep. I'm going to take a little bit of my water highlight and I'm just sticking a small amount of it on the inner corner portion of my eyes just to kind of give that area a nice little sheen glow. Going to do the same thing with the water bronzer and just add a little bit more of it to the inner corner just to kind of make it like a little bit more of a complete kind of like subtle eye look. Go ahead and curl my lashes. I am going to be using the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. I just wanted to continue on with like the affordable drugstore products because you can find all of these products at Target, which is really cool. But yeah, this mascara is nice. I like it. It coats all my lashes very evenly and fast, which I'm a big fan of. And it looks really good all day and it doesn't irritate my eyes, which is also a big plus. Oh, and another thing that I like about this mascara is that it's easy to take off at the end of the day. Honestly, I really like my lip. It's just the lip to cheek in Rosewood. We applied it earlier. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of lip liner. This is the NYX Dazed and Diffused lip liner in the shade Girls Trip, and I think it matches it really well. A little bit of gloss I think would be cute, especially in the shade Peach Honey from Undone. So I'll add a little bit of gloss. Taking out the clips, I'm ready to be done. Ooh, I love this look. I have been using more full coverage foundations lately just because they've been in my rotation for like reviewing. And this is really, this is good to me. This looks really good. I feel like at the end of the day, nothing beats a really nice put together natural look. Before I set my face with setting spray, I am just going to go over the whole thing with the like little butt end of my beauty blender make sure everything is smoothed out sometimes i use the under over powder from undone um i'll just do like a light dusting of it all but i am skipping powder today just because if i can skip it i really like I don't want to wear it if I can skip it. So yeah, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of setting spray. Unfortunately, you cannot find the setting spray at like your local Target or Ulta, but this is a more affordable setting spray. It is the Pro Long Setting Spray from Absolute New York, and I think it's only like $9 or something. It's phenomenal. It really does a great job at keeping your makeup looking fresh and set all day. So I'm going to be applying this. Between the matte tint and the Undone Beauty Conceal to Reveal palette and then just making sure that you set your skin with a setting spray at the end, you can get a really, really long wear out of these products and they will look good all day. Of course, you will look oily. It's just a given, but as an oily skinned person, I have definitely accepted that about me and I don't mind looking in the mirror and seeing oil. Like right now I feel like my skin looks very nice and natural and dewy and I really really like that but at the end of the day like I will look oily in my t-zone and stuff however my skin because these products are so nice like my skin will still have the same coverage the same like products look the only thing is I will just look a bit more oily. That is going to be it from me today though. Thank you guys so much for watching and a huge, huge thank you to Undone Beauty for sponsoring today's video. I will leave links to all of the products down below and links to where you can shop Undone Beauty, whether it's on their website, Ulta, or Target. But that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for the support and watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you guys are picking up any of the products from today's video. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so, and hopefully I see you next time.